Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Wow, how are you feeling? How is life treating you? We're halfway into December, and we've got only 10 days to go, right? So what are you doing? How are you managing? Today, I feel like I want to talk about holiday stress since I've been getting a lot of calls and emails. I'm doing more Zooms with folks who are going through stress and anxiety. I even had a client just yesterday come in with a panic disorder. Why? Because of all the holiday stress and family stress. And you know what? They have a family that from a family of five, two people have been diagnosed positive with COVID and three of them are negative. And that is creating more stress than anything else. So I guess if you know anything, is stress is a normal part of our life. We have good stress and there is bad stress, right? And how do we cope with it? How do we manage stress? Uh, and what do we call stress or stress factors? Because each and every one of us um, deal with stress in a different way. Now, I'm sure the holidays add more to it. Being confined at home and being restricted um, adds another layer to it. But online is about us. A lot of things can happen outside of you. And how do you cope with it and manage it? That's the factor. So today, uh, as few of my people have been, we've been talking on Facebook and they asked me, how come you're not doing any more of the hypnosis and the relaxation? And I thought, why not? Why not today? I do a a mini relaxation hypnosis. I guide you into a state that you can relax, that you can like focus and center yourself. And if that's okay by you, uh, we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, for those of you who do not know me, my name is Lisa Bubari. By trade, I'm a clinical hypnotherapist and stress management consultant. And I work with all gamuts of folks but specialize in helping women stand up for who they are and achieve the things that you want so dreams and remember when you dream dream big because dreams do become reality and i just wanted to put that in there because you know what i am i, I was just finishing up the first draft of my newsletter and I recognize something every year at this time I sit and reflect on my year the entire year well this year we've had many many reflections that we can do because we've been sitting a lot right <laughs> especially in one place on zoom the small little box, even right now that I am reaching out to you and we are here together. We are here together in, in this small little space. And yet this little space has created more opportunities for us to connect worldwide that we have not done in many other times before. So children are connecting on zoom people are connecting on zoom we i i have connected to someone in egypt i connected someone in south africa and 
through another network, I have connected with people in Australia, Canada, Europe, you know, it is a one world. So being grateful to this incredible thing called internet and counting our blessings for our connections. And maybe one day we will meet with one another. So for that, um, before I go into the relaxation and Zen, I want to say my life is not perfect. Believe me, <laughs> of course it's not. And yes, I do my daily affirmations if you have been following I started this daily affirmation, inspiration, or dancation in order for us to, for me to bring a little bit of a joy into your life until the day after Christmas. And if you text the word gift me to 818-221-2797, you will be in the pool of the list of names that I will be draw drawing one name and gift that person, that name, something that it is physical and is going to come to you. So it is not from the internet. It is not um, a relaxation audio recording, but it is a real gift that will be shipped to that one person. And I hope it is you. But coping with family, coping with mom, coping with our elderly, coping with the ones who are sick or going through hard times. That in itself, there is a lot of stress. But then I came to the office where I call it my sanctuary. And I hope everyone has their own sanctuary and i hope you create your own sanctuary and it can be a me time away from everyone even if it is in your bathroom when you take a shower take five minutes extra time and allow the water that comes dripping from above to wash and cleanse and heal and just literally wash away your stress your worries, your anxiety, and just let it go down the drain. Because when you do it consciously, no matter what is happening outside of that moment, you know what happens? You can release it because everything comes down to one thing. You doing it intentionally and allowing it to happen. So that, that moment can become your sanctuary. You can walk out and just stand in front of the door and leave everything behind that closed door. And for three minutes, make that your sanctuary. If you can go and sit in your car and give yourself three to seven minutes of silence, that becomes your sanctuary. So everything is our choice. Yes, you do have choices. If only you recognize it. So today I came to the office and I'm preparing this moment to start. Hi, Arina John. And I've got my light that shines bright, this ring light and everything. So I see that the power of the ring light is low. And I'm looking, it's plugged in. I'm looking, it's all taken care of. So for me, I call my assistant because I truly believe my assistant. I call Adrian, my assistant, my tech Google. So when I get stuck, I call upon her. And just like 
a magic. She comes and fixes and takes care of things for me. And I am truly grateful. And I call upon her. And as I feel as if I'm stressing out for just a light, she comes and says, well, you minus the light. There is no problem with the light. And we start laughing at that very moment, allowing laughter to come in instead of being upset and angry at the self, which is that self-punishment, the negative talk, and everything that you go into this round of negative talk, and it's like, I'm st so stupid, da da ba 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 turn it into laughter, <laughs> and turn around and say, did you plug it in? <laughs> Even at this very moment, I'm laughing about it, because yes, just that word, did you plug it in? Started a whole shift of turning a eustress, a distress to a eustress, because it became fun and it's no longer stressor, and it shifted the energy of negativity into something funny. It turned it into, you know what? I can laugh at myself, with myself, and it's not a stress. What it was, it's no longer matter. It does not matter. And you know what? There's so many things in our life that we forget to be grateful and thankful. And it doesn't really matter. We stress ourselves about it. Yes, if we go into that realm of negative, 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 guess what? It becomes this like uh, the undercurrent in the ocean that it just sucks it in, right? And remembering the magic of Aladdin that goes up. So it's your choice. What do you want? The moment you feel stressing, going down world, stop, allow, and come up with something that breaks the barrier, just like this. Now, sound is so powerful because when you whisper, everybody listens. And also a sound, you know, they say, if a tree falls in the forest, Does it make a sound? No. If you are not there, or if there is no one to hear it, it does not make a sound. It creates a vibration. But the sound is only for the ones who hear it. I hope that makes sense. If you do not hear it, then there is no sound. That's why for those who cannot hear very well, they say there is no sound. So sound is for those who can hear it. And that's why when someone screams or they hear those words of harshness, they go like that. I don't want to hear it. I, they do not wish to hear those sounds. And that's why whisper or a whistle can be so profound. And that's how we train dogs and children. When you bring the vibration of your voice, lower. The effect of that is so far greater. 
then scream. Now, that sound that's shifted. Right? That's one sound. And here's another. And creating this beautiful sound. Now this has a very high pitch. This afternoon, I'm going to do a meditation for children and for those kids who have signed up for my nonprofit. And it's going to be a mini meditation, teaching them what is meditation, what is guided visualization, what is hypnosis. And they are all allowing yourself to enter to that beautiful, Zen state within yourself. So for you to allow yourself to de-stress and release stressors that may be in your psyche, in your energy, or if you have any kind of a stress in your body or feeling it emotionally or mentally, let's do this. Just for the next few moments, give yourself permission to sit back hmm. and take a nice deep breath. And as you exhale, just let go. Let's do it together again. Nice deep breath, bringing it in and exhale release just like pushing it away and just like another one take a nice deep breath and imagine that you are having a bubble and there is that little hook in there and you're breathing through and blowing that little through that hole so bubbles and bubbles and bubbles can come out through that hole. And just by looking at that, imagining it, you know what? Every single child knows exactly how to create bubbles. And just like a magic puts a smile on their face. So imagine in your own mind, with your eyes closed, that you hold to this stick and through that little hole, you place and blow. And from the other side, bubbles and bubbles and clusters of bubbles come through. Maybe it's a one big bubble, clusters of bubble. And bubbles are nothing but clear, beautiful shapes. And as you look through the bubble, you see the magic of a rainbow. Even without looking, with your eyes closed, allow yourself to become silent for a moment. And with that silence, easily and gently, be grateful for this one moment of silence. As if honoring all who have been a part of your life, who are no longer physically a part of your life, 
who are watching over you. And perhaps those who are to enter and come into your life. And with each and every breath, allow oxygen and vitality to come and surround and protect you. As if you step into that bubble of protection. And as you breathe in and out, recognizing that from a long time ago, from the moment you began crawling and for that little hand that was placed in the hand of that one loving, caring person who lifted you up and helped you stand to the moment you started walking and you trusted that hand that guided you and protected you with each and every step until you stood up. And from that moment on, that little girl or little boy, that inner child of yours said, let me do this on my own. I can do this. I can stand up. I can walk. You just watch me. You just be behind me. Just be beside me. So when I turn around, you are right here. So when I reach for you, you are right here. But watch me take these steps. And remembering the beautiful spirit within you who is still very much childlike looking up to you to guide, to protect, and to watch over that perhaps you forgot all about you. You remember who you are. And as you are breathing in and out, being grateful that you are present right here, right now, and at this very moment, nothing mattered except your presence, their presence. And you say, thank you. I am. I matter. And if there is any pain, physical pain in your body. Allow the magic and the rainbow of that bubble and the healing aspects to heal your pain, to wash away that pain, that hurt, the anxiety, even the shame and guilt. And be grateful to you. If there is emotional pain and hurt, take this very moment and be loving and kind and kinder to yourself.
with words of kindness and loving gestures. And if there is any stressors in your life, put them in clusters of bubbles and allow this clusters of bubbles and you can name them, visualize them, title them. Take a nice deep breath and blow through and allow them to release, float away, maybe even go all the way into the sky even pop in time. And as you are here present, just being grateful to who you are, that this body of yours that houses you, shields you, and protects you, sound mind of yours that thinks and consciously looks, listens, and learns, and subconsciously how you have memorized things, and today you can by choice cancel, let go and release them. You are in total control of what you keep and what you lovingly say thank you and you are no longer welcome into my body, into my world, into my life. And as you exhale, imagine that the next time you breathe through, the next bite that you take, that you are grateful that you can eat, that you can swallow and digest. That the next sip of water that you drink, you swallow and you nourish your body. And realizing that you have been loved from that very step. That you have been cared for. And you are still cared for by you. If you can only be 5% more loving and kinder every single day, you can easily release stress and allow kindness, vitality, health, joy, and love be part of who you are. <sighs> Marvel in your life, my dear. As a child of God, you have so much to be grateful to. As I am grateful for giving me permission to help you become one with yourself. Just a few moments. And if you were to take three minutes a day to do this exercise of gratefulness, of silence, 
And remember that every step that you take every day in every way, you bring more oxygen, vitality. And that every day in every way, you become healthier and stronger, kinder and more loving towards yourself and your loved ones and others who come into your life from this day forward. You will make an abundance and plethora of goodness become the new boomerang in your life. So although this is water, I salute you and I thank you for being part of Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. And I want to say next week and the week after i want you to stay tuned and show up because you're going to be in a, in a you are going to be in a surprise i have such exciting news to share with you i am excited and i am holding my excitement because next week will be just a little snippet of that and the week after we're going to announce oh i already gave it away yes it's going to be a we uh no i am not pregnant not that kind of a we and no i do not have someone in my life yet that is to come right make a wish and watch your wishes become reality so for today, I thank you for being a part of Heal Talk Tuesday. Remember, make a comment, be a part of my holiday challenge every single day, a part of my inspiration, affirmation, or a dancation. And for today, I thank you. God bless you. And may the universal light surround you. See you next week. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.